The wizard tower known as Frost Crag Spire is ours. We have unearthed a powerful home base from Arena Mistfire and completed the first two of the game's DLC. Today we take on the third one and I begin contemplating a truly mad task. Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to the Champion of Backflips. Also known as the Champion of DLC Challenge in certain parts of the world where we are headed out. Ah, these green stained cup caps, the Cinnabar. Just gonna bring a couple of shrooms with me because we have quite the task list for today. I might need the extra motivation. So. Me and Flamey are here in Frostcrag Spire at the top of the world. It's time for us to take on a new DLC. I wasn't originally going to record an episode today, but I had some insane shower thoughts, some ideas, some thoughts, and I just, I needed to share them with you. Let's begin by first and foremost heading over to the Coral Mages Guilds. Because near Coral, there is a little structure that I would like us to investigate. Also in Coral, we have Orain's house, Modron Orain of the Fighters Guild. So I figured maybe we stop by there. I suppose we could stop at the guild too and see if they have anything for me, any profits. I don't care. I'm just gonna sneak into his house here. Because some of you guys mentioned in the Champion of Cyrodiil challenge that I never really checked out his drawing. So apparently he's been practicing his... Oh, I think I see it. <laughs> he's been practicing his painting skills. I'm... I mean, A for effort, right? Ah, uh, so good, Arain. We'll put that on the fridge. Yeah. Like, is that me, though? Is that... A at least I can tell what it's supposed to be. It's the interrogation sequence with the Argonian. But... but... Yeah, flame me. I feel like we just burn it all down. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Ugh. Let's get out of here. I've had enough of... Orain's art. We are gonna go to Battlehorn Castle. That's right. It's a player home for a warrior, but it comes with so much more than that. Marina's gonna own a freaking proper castle. It's right here. Let's check the quest. That's not what I meant. There we go. I've heard a rumor that the defenders of Battlehorn Castle are besieged by marauders and are appealing for aid. Apparently their commander has been killed and they're offering the castle itself to anyone who will help lift the siege. Of course we're gonna come and help them out. A free castle? You think Marina would pass up that? Killing a couple of marauders? Let's go. Now we must keep in mind that our spells are area of effect. They're gonna cover a wider area, so they're not great for having companions. And I do plan on us getting a couple of companions. All right, let's let's party, pal. Or your friend could just shoot you in the back. You know that works too. Oh, look at that! I got a wolf on my side. Animals just love me. Take a glass, Claymore. Just warming up, you pathetic worm. Pathetic wolf. Get it right. Wapow! And he's down. Get those. Oh, why are you ch- Yeah, I killed a wolf, yes. So what? You're next. Kaboosh! And she's down. Roast her. Real good. Repeatedly. There we go. These marauders are nothing. Nothing for the power of Marina freaking Mistfire. Oh, there's more of them. Dead marauders, still in iron, because they were probably placed here at level one. <gasps> Lord Kelwin himself! The leader of the castle is dead. What a shield. <gasps> no, you don't. Battlehorn, man at arms. I shall help you. Except for the fact that I can't really, because my spells are AoE, and I've actually considered making single... Oh, there we go, he's down. I've actually considered making some single target versions of our spells. We can keep the power, but, you know, avoid killing our companions. It seems like a pretty sweet... Are you... This is indeed a dark day for all of us left. Yep. But I thank you for risking your own life to help us. Your gyrating booty yeah, is thanking me. It'll tell you all you need to know. As the newest uh master of the castle, I bid you welcome. 
Yes. Very cool. So, uh, you got some gold on you. Somebody, that, help! Come, come I, quickly! We've got a burglar. Can you? Don't be so. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Very cool. Follow me. Certainly. We can get him now. A little inappropriate touching on the booty. That's just oh, that's par for the course. It's par for the course with Marina. Let's get Cruelty's heart on. And I still need to carry more. More. I need more. And the way we're gonna do that is removing the uh, misfire ring and doing the wanderer's ease. Easy. Then I'm gonna grab the Daedric Greaves, the Ebony Helmet. Long sort of fire too. Why not? Because I want to get two million golds. So we're gonna have our own little soldier man now. Flamey should also show up. Let's check out their castle. Let's check out the castle. Oh, wonderful. Look at my crew. Okay, we got Lord Kelvin's will. Last will and testament. I, Lord Kelvin, son of Jaren, and sworn knight to the true horn, upon my death do hereby bequeath Battlehorn Castle and all her at and all her lands, dependents, and chattels to the bearer of this document. Such an unusual document requires some explanation. I resort to such measures out of desperation. I pen this while Battlehorn Castle lies besieged by a band of ruthless marauders, with little hope that any of us will survive. Besieged, I say, although this petty battle would not even have rated a footnote in the great days of the Knights of the True Horn. We have fallen on hard times indeed. I will entrust this document to my last faithful retainers with instructions to destroy it in the last extremity, although I accept that I may have provided the means for my murderers to legally take the lordship of Battlehorn Castle. So be it. To the new lord of Battlehorn Castle, whoever you are, know that you inherit the stronghold with a proud tradition. Battlehorn Castle was built by a remnant of the Knights of the True Horn, who were exiled from our homeland of Lanelin in Hammerfell. After a failed battle to dethrone Baron Shrike of Lanelin, our leader Lord Kane ordered us to split up into as many small groups as possible until the time should come that he would recall us. My father was a part of a group that settled here in Cyrodiil and built Battlehorn Castle as a refuge while I waited for Lord Kane's message. A message that never arrived. Over the years, all the knights of our little band either gave up or passed on, all but one, my father Jaren. Since his untimely death, I have continued to hold Battlehorn Castle in the hope that someday we will hear from Lord Kane, and our great exile will be at an end. I am afraid that the fortunes of Battlehorn Castle have fallen on hard times. What resources I had available, I devoted to maintaining the castle itself. Its walls still stand strong, and its hearth still provide warmth. Sadly, this came at a great cost, and many of the items within its walls had to be sold in order to meet the enormous payments such maintenance begets. If you find yourself with the means to restore Battlehorn Castle to its former glory, a friend of mine father's named Nilfus Umilian still holds many of the castle accoutrements in storage and on account. All that is required is to repay the castle's debts to Nilfus, and I'm certain he'll happily return the items. Here goes our cash. My final request for the new lord of Battlehorn Castle is to continue to uphold the proud traditions of the Knight of the True Horn, and to honor the memory of our brave service. Yes, so fighting pit's probably gonna be in here, and then I'm thinking the brothel is on the, on the eastern wing here. No, I'm just, I'm just messing with you, Battlehorn man-at-arms. You look a little hurt. You look a little hurt from the battle. Mara protect us. Actually, let's let me give you something more. How about that? Savior's touch. That's a little better, huh? Let's explore the castle. So it's gonna be a little empty because we need to go to Nilfas and actually buy the items for it. But we can have a look. We have a basement. We have a tower. Look at that. We have a little hall here as well. A little hall where well tan plates. No, that won't do. This will not do. We we need we need to upgrade that. Straight away. Unacceptable. Let's see, what else do we have around the castle? Our little castle. Is this private quarters? Private quarters! Yes. Are those cobwebs? Oh, There are some books here. I've decided to postpone book collecting until a later episode so it doesn't kill... Um... Kill the flow. What's this parchment? It is blank. Okay, very good, but this is where I could pen a letter should I need it. What? Look at this place! What? This is... 
All right. What a castle indeed. We got a bed. There's not even a chest. All right, we got to go see Nilfus in the Imperial City because this this is this is unacceptable. We're going to need to place things on the pedestal. This this place is going to bop by the end of the episode. We're not ending this episode until this place is bopping, so this episode might be a little bit longer than usual, but I Whoa. feel like you are going to forgive me. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. All right, my companions might not, though, because I'm just going to go ahead and run away. So Nilfus should be at the Merchant's Inn over in the Market District, where we spent our first night of freedom. <gasps> oh, that we hit a tree there. Can I get a healing spell? Because I'm going to kill myself at this rate. I keep bopping into everything along the way. <gasps> there we go. So, the reason I'm making this episode today, because... As I was taking a shower, I had some thoughts, as I usually do. Now, there's something that's been not necessarily bothering me about the Champion of Cyrodiil Challenge, but it's something that I keep asking myself, what if? And that's a dangerous path to go down as a human being. We maxed our skills. Cool. We maxed our attributes. Or did we? We still have luck at 72. So, let's talk about luck. What is luck? Because there are some misconceptions. Luck is an attribute that essentially, when, you, when we raise luck above 50, we get a small boost to all of our skills. But that boost is capped at level 100. So if you're level 100 in all your skills, luck does not really have an effect on the skill. Luck, I believe, boosts everything except for athletics, acrobatics, and speech crafts. So, it's luck is essentially a little tiny boost for skills, which could be good at lower levels. But at a higher level, it's not really necessary. But it does have some other interesting effects. Firstly, it affects your chances of winning in the arena, because when you have a higher luck, the combatant you pick actually starts with more health, which feels like cheating. Also, the very powerful Daedric artifact, Maroon's Racer, which I do intend to get, also is stronger in its special attack. Its special attack, Daedric Banishing, has a chance to essentially steal the enemy's soul and instantly kill them. We can increase the chance of this happening on a strike by simply having a higher luck skill. So that's also really worth keeping in mind, you know? Did I just roll past the Market District? I think I did. So luck does have some uses, but... Dark, you're missing 28 levels of luck. How could we even get this up to 100? Is it possible? Yes. Is it painful? Yes. Is it smart? Probably not. But we'll talk more about it after I found Nilfus. Uh, and we still have the assassination paper, which we read on the first day. I know I keep bringing it up, but that's just so wholesome. Hail. Hail, Nilfus. Allow me to extend my congratulations ah, mm -hmm. on your daring victory. I am at your service. Castle saved. I have everything you need to make the place more livable. Here, take this list. We shall see. Battlehorn Castle upgrades list. Ah, I would gladly invest in your shop. I would gladly let you invest in my shop. Good, we're on the same page. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Maybe. You have... I'm gonna buy a Summer Bullet Cap for later. White You're Seed Pod looks negotiator. good. Mugwort Seeds. Deal. Okay. Let's buy a couple of these. He gave us a little list as well that we might as well read. But for now, we're gonna you buy all of these right bomb. here. Good. You have a Bear Pelt too. I'll buy a Bear Pelt. W what is Dark doing? Why is he Why is he buying a Bear Pelt? That, that makes no sense. Also, this guy is, once again, super good oh, merchant good. because he's added by the DLC. That so we're just going to go ahead and dump trend. some equipment on him right here so we can begin a good bit of moving gold. around a little more easily. And Enjoy the you Daedric. He sells so much stuff at full price now. It's amazing. I love it. Orkish Curus. And that's good for now, I think. Alrighty then. Thank you. Farewell. So, the quest isn't complete just yet. It's a little weird, but we have to buy these upgrades in waves, so to say. Let's check out what he gave us, the upgrades list. I will be happy to provide the following improvements to Battlehorn Castle upon receipt of payment for goods and services rendered. We did 
Oh, we're still we're still at 1.7 million. It's fine. Kitchen area. The kitchen will be completely refurbished with everything needed to support you and your household. I will also provide the services of a most excellent cook, Platius Rusonius, whose culinary skills I can personally recommend, as he was in charge of the kitchens at the Tiber Septim Hotel for many years. Bedroom area. The bedroom in the castle's private quarters will be fitted out with the most luxurious furnishings and appointments, and the services of a maid accustomed to working in a noble household will be retained. Finally, an upgrade from the shack, huh? I mean, we do have the mansion in Skingrad, but... Library area. The library in the castle's private quarters will be restocked with books appropriate to a noble's library, and furnished to provide a comfortable reading and working area. The dining area. You'll be able to entertain in high style once you have cleaned and refurbished the dining room in the castle's east wing. Ooh, if only we had some friends. Barracks. I will retain the services of an experienced mercenary captain as well as two men-at-arms in order to bring the castle's garrison up to its full complement. Training room. I'll provide an experienced battle trainer who can spar with you and your men on a variety of weaponry. That's That would be a good way to train if, if we'd need to, but we're 100 and everything. I have an excellent candidate in mind, but I do not want to name him until I'm certain that I can retain his services for you. Trophy Hall. The trophy room in the castle's Great Hall will be reappointed. I will also hire an expert taxidermist to create beautiful and lifelike trophies out of the most dangerous creatures of the land. Very good. We got a couple of trophies to make. Wine Cellar. No castle should be without the services of a well-trained vintner, and one of the best is now available. Talon learned his trade from his famous sister Tomika of Skingrad. He was also once a member of the prestigious Imperial Alchemy Symposium, but was removed from its ranks for use in the skill of alchemy to perpetuate the mixing of magical and alcoholic beverages. The alchemist's loss is your gain. Using ingredients found in the wild and his keen sense of taste, Talon creates unusual mixtures the likes of which have never been seen. So we've got a couple of wine combinations we want to make too then. I trust that you will find much here of interest to you in your new position as Lord of Atlorn Castle. Please allow me to be of service. I remain Nilfus O'Million. Nice, so we got the barracks. I've hired Captain Aethon, a retired Legion officer with impeccable credentials to take charge of the men-at-arms at Battlehorn Castle. I've instructed him to hire two additional men-at-arms at his discretion to bring the castle garrison to its full complement. Yes. Battlehorn bedroom. Very good. The dining area and a chef. Uh, kitchen area should bring the chef, rather, but we have a dining area too. Library area with lots of books. Training room where we can spar with the famous arena champion, Shagrol Grousug, is on his way. I've taken the liberty of sending along the equipment he will need to set up your training room. Very cool. Trophy hall. Nice. I've also hired a taxidermist to join your castle staff. Melisi Darren comes highly recommended by your former employer, a wealthy gentleman from Bruma named Bainlin. And what killed Bainlin? That's right. A taxidermied head. Very, very good. I like that. Wine cellar. You hired Talon. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, excuse the flaming demon in the inn, it just, you know, is what happens when Marina comes to visit. So, we will need to take a trip back to Battlehorn Castle right now, and let's just check things out once we're over there. We need to find out what we need to do if we want to make fancy wine, if we want to have taxidermized animals. I want to see what the chef can do, the training room, all of this stuff. So, we are gonna head westward. <gasps> But on the way there, let's talk about luck again. So, if I wanted to max luck, we would need to essentially level up 28 more times. Because you can, you can only get a plus one to luck when you level up. That would put our max level at 81. Which is a funny number if you played Skyrim, because that used to be the max cap for leveling. So that's just an interesting little coincidence there. How would we level 28 more times, though, considering we have capped out all of our major skills? Ah! Well, jail exists. Jail is definitely a place. And we could theoretically lower our major skills. And if we lower a major skill 10 times, or any combination of them 10 times, and then regain them by leveling them back up again, we could gain another level. A level that point that we could then spend in luck. If I did that 28 more times... 
great leap. We would be at level 81, and we would have 100 luck. What would that mean? What would we gain from leveling 28 times? What would we lose? Here's the deal. As you know, when we level up in Oblivion, we get more health, depending on our endurance. And since our endurance is 100, we will get 10 health every level, meaning we will get an additional 280 health points when we are level 81. That's pretty cool, isn't it? We will also get that extra Daedric Banishing effect with Maroon's Racer. Right now, if we got the Racer, our chances of a Daedric Banishing happening, killing the enemy, is 3.6%. However, if we max out luck, it's gonna be at 6 whole percent. So that's almost a doubling of the chance of an insta-kill, which is pretty cool. However... I wonder where my companions are. There are negatives, of course. Essentially, by leveling 28 more times, we also allow enemies like the Minotaur Lord, etc. to grow 28 levels stronger while we barely improve at all. So we're gonna make the rest of the game harder for us by getting that 100 luck. So I'm not sure if it's something I want to go through with, I'm gonna be honest. I'm still... I'm still thinking. 28 more levels would mean that we would need to decrease a major skill 280 times. I would need to decrease these skills, any combination of them, probably not speechcraft, screw that. So these six skills, I would need to decrease them 280 times. And then I would need to train them back up again. That's... That sounds grueling. Will we do it? I don't know. Here we are at the castle though, let's explore. We have new men. Hi. Yes. This hall is still a little empty. I think we need to talk to the taxidermist. Let's just take this one step at a time, starting with the east wing. What's up in the east wing? This looks like taxidermy heaven. Very nice. Hello, hello. Melisi Darren. What is it, Mathsera? Can you? Taxidermy needs list. Good. Let's see. Let's see what we need. I specialize in the finest reconstructions of creatures from across the face of Cyberdale. I'm ready to create my marvels of taxidermy, but require a small portion of each appropriate creature in order to make the likeness complete. To get a stuffed bear, we need bear pelt, which we bought. Stuffed wolf is wolf pelt. Stuffed minotaur is minotaur horn. Stuffed mountain lion in my castle. That, that's lion hide. We need ogre teeth for an ogre, clam for claws for clan for daedroth teeth for daedroth, and troll fat for a stuffed troll. Guys and girls, I would not consider this DLC complete until we have a hall of taxidermized animals and creatures. That would be the best. What is it? Melisi, make me a stuffed bear. Ah, oh, wonderful. I'll just take this from you and get to work. I'll need some time with this. Come and find me tomorrow. I feel like all of their dialogue has been stitched together. Just stitched together from lines of dialogue that they already have lying around, spliced around. And I understand why, you know? Getting people back into the recording studio to record more dialogue is, is a lot of work. So when they were gonna make some expansions, it's like, can, how can we reuse assets that we already have? It's interesting, though, to see how they've navigated around it. Like, the fact that Lord... What's his face? Lord Kelvin was dead when we arrived, and he just wrote everything down in a note instead, which would make... Hold on, what? What? This came for you, ma'am. Oh, okay. A note from Nilfus. That you... Hi there. Castellan Athon! You look like Lord Kelvin. Hello. Yes, ma'am. So you're the man who's gonna be training. Certainly. Follow me, my man. Oh. Is he gonna follow me out in the field? Maybe he just follows me around the castle. Very cool. Let's just wait around and see if we can find the see the bear statue in all of its majestic glory. Then we can find out whatever Nilfoss wants. I gave him a good deal. I gave him lots of gold. Okay, bear, bear. Yes! Okay, we need more. We need to go out and collect. We need to collect some different parts. Definitely. Okay, let's check out what's behind door number one. Wooden door. Battlehorn Castle Basement. Okay, so here's a little hangout for, I suppose, the guards here. Maybe this is the castle on bed? I can't sleep in this. It's not quite luxurious enough for me. 
Let's check out the basement. Let's peruse. Oh, the castellan is coming with me. That's very nice of him. Well, that's... that's... That's dark. Whoever... I don't know half these people. Let's let, let's greet them. Hello, why are you coming out of the darkness? Got the hands of a Talon, snake. that's you. What can I do for you, ma'am? Uh, wines, probably. There are some things I need. Here, take this list. It'll tell you all you need to know. Ingredients for wine. You've brought me what I asked for? Not yet. Certainly. Okay. Wine ingredient list. I can make the following wines for you in about 24 hours, provided I have the necessary ingredients. Frost du Blanc, that's aloe vera leaves, green stain cup, and that does restore health and restore fatigue. Colovian battle cry, for shield and fortify endurance. Okay, okay. Juliana's fire belly, resist frost, fortify health. Numb skin mead, resist fire, fortify health. Stumblefoot's reserve, feather and fortify strength. Argonian blood wine. Resist poison, resist disease, water breathing. Sparkling honeydew, fortify personality and fortify speech crafts. Okay, so we have a little list of ingredients that we will need to collect for this man if he's gonna make one of every wine, which I kinda wanna do, actually. Okay, Talon. I'm gonna leave the silver nugget, cause we're above that. A little cupboard here, a little cozy place. Look at this. Not the marina is a heavy drinker, but there's... It's nice to have our own little... There we go, had to tab back. Nice to have our own little cellar. I'm loving this. Barrel of Colovian Battle Cry. Oh, it's empty. Do you think if I... If he makes it once, I can keep refilling... Oh, there... Barrel of Mead! The barrel still contains enough to fill 19 more... Oh, so I can... Oh, this is so cool. I love it. Alcohol. Got it. So... Oh my... Secret passage in my... Hey, guys. We just found a secret passage and, and a scythe. This is the North Tower. And this is the entrance hall. Oh, this is so cool, though. Altar of Juliana. Lawbreaker. What did I- oh, I touched- I did touch that man's bum while he was out, I guess that- Oh boy. Alright, we have to go deal with that. North Tower. Let's go check out the tower then. Lovian Highlands. Hey, here we are. Look at this. Castle Gatehouse. This is the art castle now, I need to get myself acquainted. Ah, some Surreal Brothers wine for those long shifts. Very nice. We can go through here. One could even go top of the main tower right here. And look out at Cyrodiil. Whoop! Let's make our way back inside. We, I still want to find the chef in the kitchens. So, we need to get some taxidermized... Uh, some taxidermy parts. And then, let's see, back in the East Wing. Then we need some ingredients for the wine. So we're probably gonna need to take a little trip to the Imperial City again, because we can also talk to Nilfus while we are there. Are you my chef? Come back. Fire demon, stop him. What can I do for you, man? I don't know, what can you do for me? Can you give me something to eat? A little food and drink will do you some good. Yeah, give me uh, shepherd's uh, venison. Certainly. Here oh. you are. Anything else? This is suddenly really powerful. Because you guys know what venison makes when we grind that down. It makes restore health. However, it makes the really heavy variety of restore health. Which isn't as good. But... Hold on, where is it? Because one of the restore healths is here. What? I don't see it. Did I... That's... That's confusing. That is confusing indeed. Okay. Let us get going to... I haven't actually found the... Well, we can explore the castle more later, I suppose. The Great Prince has been beaten. Has been beaten. Actually, let me just find the bedroom. I want to see the bedroom because it felt a little... It felt a little lackluster. I, am, I should probably consult the map here because I keep getting just... 
I don't even know where I am half the time. <sighs> Proper dining hall. Here I can sit and, and, and pen my letters. The history of lockpicking. I think we got a lot of skill books in here too, actually. Look at this. Ah. This is so cozy, I really like it. We have our own little quarter. I mean that, of course we do. I expect nothing less. The plants are growing. Look at that, we got a little fire. Oh, this, is, this is so nice. I love it. Let's, let's wait until morning though. Because I would like to see if... I thought we had a maid. Maybe she's out and about doing maidy things. All right, that's all right. Let's check out the basement proper. I don't think we really did that. So that's the east wing. Is this Greetings, also that's also the brother. east wing. If I wanted to go to the basement, I would. This is where the guards hang out, but it also goes to the basement. Okay, I'm trying to make a mental map because we stopped by the wine cellar and then I got sidetracked by the other passages. He just keeps coming out of the darkness, Rona. I like something to eat. Certainly. What can I interest you in? You can. Okay, so she's also gonna just provide me with uh, with all of that good stuff. Certainly. Nice venison. Come with me. Follow me, Rona. Very good. Now I am curious about something. Let me check. So we have thirty-seven restore health potions. If I grind down the venison, we have thirty-eight. That's insane, because it's venison How weighs two, sure? so the potion should also weigh two. Hold on. Because this would actually be a really good way for us to get restore health potions, but if I toss these on the ground, because take a look at venison, it weighs two, and now I make those. Oh, they're, they're just light. I thought it was maybe that I was just adding them to the stack. Okay. How can I? Hey, so uh, I kind of like uh, a couple of... Uh, do you got some more of those venison? Because that's... Um, that is so powerful. That's just free health potions right there. I mean, I, I rarely use health potions. I tend to use magic potions and then heal manually. But if we're are gonna level up 28 more towns, towns, level up some towns. What am I on about? Level up 28 more times. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. Okay, very cool. What else is in the basement? This is another little servant room for the peasants. Very good. They need a place to stay as well. Oh, I think I found the arena champion, Chagrol. Did you really face down Merun's Dagon himself? Mm -hmm. They say he stood 200 feet high and crushed the temple dome with his fist. Oh, they say the darndest things. So, buddy, he can actually spar with us. Sure, I need a weapon. The choice is yours. That dialogue is totally from the Fighter Skilled quest in the, the Haunted Mine where you give him... Alright, so we can either use a dagger, one-handed, or two-handed weapon. Cool. What if I say use the dagger? All right, come on. He's probably gonna fight me. Yes. No, it's fine. We're sparring. We're sparring. We don't need to. Oh well, I guess Flame didn't get the memo. But this way you could easily train block and armor and all of those skills. Cause he does no damage. This would be so good for training. And Kostlan just killed this my... This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. We're training, not bleeding to... Alright, he... So, a couple of hi hiccups there. Don't bring the Flame Atronach in if you're gonna do that, because it's gonna get properly demolished. Cool. Was that all there was to find, then? Eh, the kitchen area. Look at this. If I do take this venison, I need to know. Why? It's always been two weights. Suddenly it's... It's always been like that. Why is it not like that now? It's fine. 
It's a big improvement. And we're in the East Wing. Okay, I feel like we've done a little trip around the castle. We have learned so much. Now we need to go out, get ourselves some ingredients for wine, go see what Nilfus wants. And we're gonna go get some taxidermized parts. Speaking of taxidermized parts, wolf pelt right outside. Ogre out in the woods. Alrighty, let me let me see what the castle can do. Yeah, he's gonna actually come with me. He can cast some healing spells too. Oh, he's probably gonna be really cool then. Okay. Let me quickly dunk. Don't don't die now. That would be uh that would be bad. Do we have a good way to fight this boy? I suppose I suppose we could do the kudunk. There we go. Get him. Get him while he's down. That is a pathetic amount of damage. And I'm 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 wishing more and more that we had a single target spell. So I might actually head to our Whistler Tower, pick some ingredients, and make one of those because. Otherwise, this is pretty painful. I can't really attack him without hurting my, my buddy. But maybe it's okay to hurt my buddy. Because I'm not gonna hurt hurt him. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. Let me just put some Restore Magicus back on the which we have run out of. Okay, good to know. Oh, look at that. I, I can try to keep them away from him. I just need to be smart about it. I just need to be very smart about where I shoot these beams here. Very good. Kaboosh! Nice! He almost died. Ogre's teeth. Good. Oh, there's another ogre. It's never ogre. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So, Mr. Castellan, you stay right there. It's actually more convenient to just fight by myself. But we're gonna change that. I need to stop being such a loner with my playstyle. I need to embrace others and accept them into my... Oh, gosh. It is annoying, though. Kaboosh! Kaboosh! Come on, finish him off! You got this! He's a loser! Kaboom! Oh. Am I supposed to be impressed? Please. Ka Ka do, do we have to do this? Do your worst. <gasps> do, you're my... Alright, whatever. Calm it! He's not yielding. Okay, so that, that, that was a bad idea, I suppose. No, the courier finally died! The poor courier- everybody needs a copy of the Black Horse Courier. She's just been carrying all of these. No, that actually upsets me. That is- okay. How could this have happened? I guess it was only a matter of time. She was in a dangerous, <laughs> dangerous territory. I am actually getting killed. He is actually going to kill me. Yikes. Could I go inside and get the Battlehorn boys to help me? Okay. We need to head to the Imperial City. But also, I'm a little worried right now. I'm gonna first head to Frostcrag Spire, I think. And the reason I want to go there is that I want to make a new Atronach. Maybe a Frost Atronach, because it looks like they have even better stats. They can do some serious, uh, seriously cool punches and the like. So I'm probably gonna go... Have the game freeze on me. Nice! Nice! It's just... I was looking for that. Alright, I guess that means I'm gonna start playing... When was the last save? I don't know. But I'll just... I'll see you at... I'll see you at the tower. I'll see you at the tower. Okay, home sweet home. We've made it to Frostcrag Spire once more. And I want to make a spell. I am simply going to make the same effect of Kiss of Oblivion, but this time I'm not going to have an overtime effect, which is going to make it a little cheaper, which is good. So... Actually, this time I'm not going to make it a, an area of effect feat spell. I am going to make it over time, of course. So it's going to be cheaper, and I might be able to get some more gusto on the power spell. Kiss of Oblivion. We need a... it's, it's going to be a more tame version, so... Smooch of Oblivion. Let's do Smooch of Oblivion. Here we go. Here's the effect. So instead of being in a feat, it's just a simple on target for the finishing spell. And we have... Instead of fire damage 30 and the rest of them 10, I think. Now everything is just 30. And it's still a much... 
cheaper effects. That Smooch of Oblivion 3. Very good. So as you can see, we have Smooch of Oblivion 1, 2, and 3. Excellent. I enjoy that a lot. Let's swap out that with those. Do we even have Frost Salts, though? Yikes. I should have checked the Frost Salt. Should have checked the Frost Salt. Hey, should have. That's fine. Does not matter. What we are here for is, of course, the alchemical supplies. Aha, which we have already raided. Well, that's good. It's fine. It's, I, it's all according to plan. We're going to go to the Arcane University now. We made the new spells. We can actually fight side by side with companions. Hey, look at that. Here we are. Now, Nilfus has sent us a missive that we would probably want to read. It's I've been a little sidetracked. Let's see, what does it say? I hope you are pleased with your recent purchase. I recently learned of an item you might be interested in. An ancient Dwemer Forge, still in working condition. It is guaranteed to facilitate all armor and weapon repairs. I know that a person of your means and discrimination would never balk the price, which barely covers my own expenses, much less the cost of shipping it to Battlehorn Castle. I look forward to doing business with you soon. All right, Nilfus. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. A bit bad idea to cast that in a crowded market. Arboretum, which means that we just need to go straight through almost. And then we just wear to the northeast eventually. Is something like this? Yes. Market District. Here we are. Once more. And we also need to go on a little bit of an ingredient hunt if we wish to actually make all the wines. And also look for Clanfer Claws and the like if you want a stuffed Clanfer. Whatever you need. Here we go. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. We shall see. Battlehorn Dwemer Forge. Quest complete Battlehorn Castle. I have purchased everything Nilfus had available. But of course, there is more to Thank the quest you. than just that. I still want to fully explore the castle. I feel like that's 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 part of it. There's so many notes here now. Dwemer Forge. I know you will be pleased with the antique forge that I'm having shipped. You'll find it is well worth the cost. Very good. I believe it boosts our armorer's skill when we stand near it. Useful if, you know, if only one was less awesome. But, you know, it... We just have to deal with the, the consequences. So, I have a little list that I've written down physically of ingredients that we are going to need. It's a shopping list, essentially. We are going to need to make a couple of wines. And we're going to need these ingredients. Aloe vera leaves, green stained cup, bog beacon, cinnabar red, cinnabar yellow, sacred lotus seed, lady smock leaves times four, dragon's tongue, arrowroot flax seeds, bergamot seeds, foxglove nectar, white seed pod, lavender sprig, and summer bullets. Hello again. So keep all of that Have in your mind, will ya? I'm sure there's something to suit you. I'm sure. Aloe vera leaves, arrow roots, and red You're cap, yellow cap. Very good. An Dragon's deal. tongue, That's fire salts, one. flax seeds, frost salts, which we now could have used to make them. It's fine. We're gonna make the frost atronach eventually. I do want to make them. We don't need to do it now. Green stain cup caps right here. Good, good. Ladies, smock leaves. And you got anything That's else? The mugwort deal. seeds are pretty good, though now we have infinite venison, so... That is so powerful. I did not consider the effects of infinite venison. Who does, you know? Okay. That's a good start. That's a good start indeed. Let's go to the Mystic Emporium, because we do have Orenlin Way here. It's my pleasure. And my she I'm has sure fire salts, frost salts, void salts, Daedroth teeth, which we would need to make a Daedroth statue. Very cool. Daedra heart, spore meat. I need to test. If I buy those and make them, usually they've been two weight potions and pretty useless. But if I you do it now, spore meat, Daedra heart. It all goes in the stack. It goes in the stack. That's so good. I've usually ignored those for their weight. Okay. Let's go to the, the main ingredient with uh, Ogier Georic. 
Man with the silliest name in town. Says the girl with her middle name as freaking. Any friend of the Yes, yes. What can I interest you in? We will see. Boar meat this time around, actually. I want that. We did get a dragon's tongue. Ectoplasm. Just keep all trying to keep this straight in my head. Foxglove nectar we will need, actually. Harada. Lavender sprig is also bargain. important. Minotaur horn? Yeah, That's we need to make a minotaur, deal. so that would actually be pretty good. Oh, I love I love these. Oh, six piddle sticks. Summer bullet caps. Yes. And some void salts, wisp star caps. Very good. So Farewell. I'm gonna make some uh, notes on my alchemical buy list here. And then I'm gonna just wait around a little bit, see when they restock their ingredients. And once they have uh, gotten their ingredients back, then I will just see you at Battlehorn Castle, essentially. I'll just be buying ingredients and looking for clamfer cloths. Alright, I'll see you at the castle. Okay, we are back at the castle. Open the gate for your champion. I don't know where I, I lost the castle land somewhere. Hopefully he's not important. Guys and girls, take a look at this ingredients list right here. I've made sure we have everything we need for all the wine in the game. We also have Clanfer Claws for Clanfer. We have a Minotaur Horn. We got those Ogre Teeth. Furthermore, we had the Wolf Pelt from the Wolf. We got the Bear. What are we missing? What what was... Okay, we need, we need, we need to consult. Let's go find the Taxidermist and the, and the Wine Man again. And let's see if we are missing something. We might be. If you want to find Taxidermist, she was East Wing, Right Room. So let's go here. Taxidermy Girl. What is... What a title. Make a stuffed wolf. Ah, oh, wonderful. So she's gonna do that in a day. Can you make more? What is it? Let's just stack them up. Stuffed minotaur. Ah. Oh. oh, we don't have mountain lion pelts. We need that. Stuffed ogre. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. What is Make a clamfer. Ah. Oh. Yes. What is Make a daydroth. Ah. Oh. oh, we don't what have troll fat, do we? You don't. We need troll fat and lion pelts. Bye. Okay, troll fat, lion pelt. We can get those. Let's make our way into the basement, I think. Let's go look for the wine boy who keeps appearing down the creepy passage whenever I... Yep, there we go. Just like clockwork. Talon. Yes, ma'am. Let's make wine. You've brought me what I asked for? Oh, look at that. Give me some frost, you blanc. Thank you. Anything else? Done and done. Here's some Clovian Battle Cry ingredients. Thank you. Anything else? Numbskin. Uh, let's do Juliano's Firebelly. Thank you. Numbskin meads. Thank you. Stumblefoot Reserve. Thank you. Argonian Blood Wine. Thank you. Sparkling Honeydew. Thank you. Nice. Certainly. Okay, that should have been everything on the list. Frostu, Clovian, Julianus, Numbskin, Stumblefoot, Argonian, Sparkling. Now then, he's probably been tapping this. Okay. Barrel, oh, he's probably gonna make it. Maybe it's gonna take some time for him to actually make all of it, but the wine is being made, so we can always return here in the future if we want to get a sip of it. Let's, let's wait around a little bit, both for the girl to start making some... Uh, making some... Uh, Taxidermized animals, and also to see if we can just get a sip of some uh, sweet liquids. I wonder if he's gonna do them one by one or all at once. Hey! Hello. Everybody's in the basement. Hi there. How are ya? You look skilled in alteration. Those who live by the Maybe you can the teach me something. What would you do with alteration, Shagrul? Do you even know how to read? Hey, Colovian Battle Cry! Hmm. Farewell. That was. Okay. Nice. And this one? Yes, we can go get our wine. Let's go get our wine. You've got the hands of a smith. Sparkling honeydew. Some time repairing your gear. Argonian blood wine. And Stumblefoot's reserve. Let's get that. Was that it? Numbskin mead. Let's get that. And Juliano's fire belly. We've now gotten all the special wine of this DLC. Look at that. Ooh, uh... That's a decent wine right there. Cheap wine, this peasant. I'll 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 drink it regardless. Colovian battle cry, shield fortify endurance, frosty blanc. 
Oh, that's just like a long-term uh, heal. Juliano's Fire Belly, Fortify Health, Resist Frost. Drink that mead too. Numbskin Mead, Fortify Health and Resist Fire. Sparkling Honeydew, Fortify Speechcraft and Personality, and Stumblefoot's Reserve, Feather and Fortify Strength. Nice. That's actually, I don't want to sell those. I mean, I don't want to drink them either. They're not that good. But I think just as a memory of having done it, let's go find our... Let's go find our bedroom again. Wine part of the DLC complete. Do we have something new in the hall? We got Wolfie. We got Minotaur Man. Very cool. Okay. Okay. This is gonna look so badass, but we're gonna need a mountain lion. It's it's not complete without a mountain lion. And what else do we need? There was something else. I know you're saying it at the screen right now, or you've forgotten, just like me. That's fine. Lord Kelvin's Bulwark. A shield with fortify health, fortify endurance, and fortify block right here. Boom. Look at that clipping through my robes. It is quite, it's not quite as impressive as, as what I want, but I appreciate the, uh, appreciate the effort nonetheless. Just keep that in the chest, I think. Argonian blood wine, battle cry. Put away some of these special drinks. So I can always come back here in the chest and uh, get them later on if I so, if I so desire. Hey, my maids. My beautiful, beautiful maids. It's a nice castle we have though. It's definitely a beautiful castle we have. Do we just go out? Let's just finish all the outside business. And then there is actually a unjournaled quest. A um, <gasps> quest will not appear in our quest journal that we can do inside the castle that I haven't done before. That I'm only vaguely sure how to start. So it's, it's going to be an adventure for us. First though, I see a dog. So that means... I should follow the dog. Let's... Oh. Fingers. Oh no, it's... In? Oh no, the world is breaking. It's... I don't think the... Oh, the world is breaking. Nils, the blacksmith, I wanna... Hello. Where's the forge? I think the forge is outside, hey, actually. With all the farms and nibbin, hey. It's my pleasure. But you are a blacksmith. If it's broken... And I can invest in you. I would gladly let you invest in my shop. There we... I would gladly... Okay, there we go. It, I think the world's Bye. breaking, slowly but surely. Okay. Hey, here's the Dwemer Forge. Dwemer Fireheart added. Your armor skill is temporarily increased by 15. Very cool. So if you need to just boost your armor a little bit, make your repair hammers last a little longer, you can always return here to the forge to repair your items. I like that. I like that little touch. That little touch indeed. Okay, with that done, I am a little worried about the world right now, so we're gonna, I'm gonna make a save right here, then we're gonna go out in the world, hunt down a mo mountain lion, I was about to attack, but I think that's just Yalti. <laughs> hunt down a mountain lion and a troll. Oh, a troll's gonna, how am I gonna get troll fat? I should, I should probably go to coral. All right, but firstly, I'm gonna reboot Actually, let, let's let's live a little dangerously. So what if the world is, is coming to an end? Who cares? <gasps> I'm gonna head over to Coral and uh, see if I can get myself some troll fat on the way. Keep an eye open for mountain lions. And there it crashed. Why do I never learn? Okay, we're in Coral. First and foremost... I think blacksmiths sometimes sell miscellaneous items. You might sell. But it's over. All right, Thank yes. Akatosh. Thank you. Thank the you. The oblivion invasion is over, and we've survived. We did indeed. Now. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you? You're in? not. You don't sell me my Be lion safe. pelts. That's fine. That's fine. Currently found that lying around, but we're gonna meet a mountain lion sooner or later. I want to go to the coral mages guilds since they don't have a dedicated uh, alchemist. Excuse me. My name is Angamo. Angalmo is what we got. Only quality goods for troll sale fat, here. Troll fat, troll fat, hey, troll fat. Hey, troll fat, troll fat, troll fat. Nay. Why? You worthless. It's fine. An Marina, you can't deal. call somebody worthless just because they don't have An the one item that deal. you are looking for. That's it's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> All right, you silly. All right. Bye. No troll fat here. Finding trolls sir. in the wild is a little more rare at this level, but we can still do it. Alright, 
I'm gonna wait around, see if the stock replenishes. Back at Fire and Steel. I I only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Oh, quality goods indeed. She got it. Bart. You beautiful woman. I love you. Another satisfied customer. I am. That means Be just the troll fat. Yes, master. You need me. Let's go check out the general store. Let's go talk to Sidneus and see if she sells. I will never forget your Ugh. brave rescue of my daughter. Yes, yes. Now, do you Only have troll fat? Goods for sale here. No, what she doesn't sell that. She doesn't sell that. That's okay. Just wanted to double check, which Good means night. I'm just gonna play the lottery with Angalmo. So I'm not gonna go out and look for trolls. I see them so rarely. Oh, Angalmo! Excuse me. A week has passed. Can I interest you in some of my wares? I hope you can. Troll fat, you beautiful balding man. I love you. I will take your boar meat too, you know. I'll buy it at a high price. Another satisfied customer. They said they know how to satisfy you in coral. All right, troll fat lion pelt, exactly what we needed. I mean, the spirit of it is to go out and slay the creature yourself, but <laughs> Marina's a busy girl, okay? We're a busy girl. We probably have so many ingredients left, don't we? Yeah, we have all manner of weird ingredients. I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna grind all of that down. Simply because I don't need it in ingredient form. Other than, let me keep three frost salts. Because I eventually want to go and make a frost atronach to go follow me. That would be pretty cool. Everything else, though, is just... Extras from my little quests. Get the steel blues, get the summer bullets, stink corn. Suddenly I was like, did I sell something? No, I didn't. It's fine. We have the troll fats and then we have the lion pelt. Let's go back to the castle. Alright, my lady. Do you want to make a stuffed mountain ah. lion? And what is it? Do you want to make a stuffed troll? Ah. Okay, two new things. Let's wait two more days and then we can go out into the hall and uh, enjoy. We'll finally have all the taxidermized animals and creatures, as well as all the wine from the cellar. We've explored the maid, we've explored the chef, we've sparred a bit with the sparring partner. We've seen how the rooms look and in general we've done most of what can be done. Hello maids. Very exciting. Let's go back to the great hall. All right, let's pretend we're just coming in. Ah, what a wonderful cat. First thing you see is David roar, roaring at you. Very cool. Then you come into the grand hall. And it is so cool. A troll there, a bear there. Don't ask me how she made a clan for out of clan for claws. Or a troll out of some fat. But she did it. There's a mountain lion. Look at this! I know, Athon, you're giving me that look. This is so good. I am so pleased! It looks so good! Okay. Nice. We've done that. Now, I know there is a secret quest here that we can do. I think we need to pull on something or find a hidden journal of some sort. So I'm just gonna go around and, uh... Be on the lookout for anything out of the ordinary. Probably in the private quarters. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Oh, found it. I found it. A chest. Potion of that. Splendid loot. The ancient mysteries of... Is this... No, wait. Hold on. Trapdoor to Colovian Highlands? I don't think this is what I'm looking for, but it's still a secret to this castle. Hold on. Alright, we're not a peasant. We don't need to loot those. Hey, look at that! There's like a, a separate section of the castle where you can come up for, for dinner, I guess. It was right there, in the secret room that I found. It was right there on the shelf, and I was like, I don't need to loot, I'm not a peasant. Oh, I'm just gonna freaking Lord Jaren's journal, we found it. I hope I have done well. I don't know. 
Perhaps I should tell the others, but what hope would they have then? I will have to tell Kelvin one day when it is time for him to assume the lordship of the castle. He at least may forgive me, as I am his father. I must collect my thoughts. Lord Cain returned last night while the others were gone to the city. Thank Unsi was only myself and Garidan, faithful friend. I have sworn him to secrecy. He was only too happy to let me take responsibility for what we did. Later, I am more resolved than ever that the others must never find out. They must never know what Lord Cain has become, our liege lord. We sacrificed everything for him. I will set it all down here, clearly, so that others may judge whether I have done right or wrong. When Garidan woke to tell me that Lord Cain had arrived, I was overjoyed at first. Garidan's grim face soon warned me that all was not well. Garidan? That's the same... Is, is that related to Garidan's tears? Is, is... All was not well, but he would not tell me what was wrong. Only the Lord Cain was accompanied by Ariel Girard, a name to freeze the blood. A Breton battle mage of sinister reputation in Lanelin. Breton battle mages, man. Lord Cain was waiting in the Great Hall with Ariel Girard. He was heavily cloaked, unsurprisingly, as it was a foul night. But I wondered why he had not removed it upon entering the castle. I greeted Lord Cain warmly, ignoring his companion for the moment. But when he spoke, it was only haltingly and with a grating edge that I had never heard before. Where are the others? was all he said. Ariel Girard quickly intervened, explaining that Lord Cain was unwell and needed a place to rest. By the time Cain was abed, I was fully alarmed. He moved like an old man and barely spoke in my presence. He left a foul odor in his wake and remained cloaked until I left him in my chambers. I then demanded that Ariel explain herself, which she was only too willing to do. Her story was appalling. Apparently Cain had perished in battle shortly after we left, but by her arts had she returned him to life and now planned to gather an army of knights to resume the war against Baron Shrike. Her eyes glittered with pride as she told me all this. She is so far gone in the madness and evil that she actually believed that I would go along with her plan to install a necromantic puppet on the throne of Lanelin. For all Baron Shrike's cruelties, he at least is mortal and will one day pass on the rule to an heir. Somehow I was able to hide my shock from Ariel Girard and pretended to agree to her plan. The other knights will need to have Lord Kane's condition explained to them before they see him, I told her. Otherwise the surprise of seeing him may lead to some regrettable actions. Thinking quickly, I suggested that she tend to Lord Kane in the grotto until I had prepared the others. She agreed without suspicion. I wonder if her mind has become disordered by her evil practices. My performance could not have been all that convincing. Once they were inside, I shut them in with Garidan's help. May Tuwaka have mercy on Lord Kane's soul. As for Ariel Girard, I wish nothing but endless night on her foul spirit. I have had workmen cover up the doorway. Only a few of the others were ever aware of that passage behind the training room. Luckily, Kelvin was not among them. I'll have to come up with some sort of story to satisfy those who ask about the grotto or tell them the truth and face the consequences. Lord Jaren's journal. Very interesting. To oh, right, you're the here, maids. All right, people. Let's go see if we can't find Lord Kane and Ariel Gerard in the basement. So I suppose we could do a basement tour like that. I'm starting to know the castle. My home away from home. My home being the waterfront. <laughs> okay. The training room. Let's go through. Down here is the wine cellar. Which will not lead where we want to go. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. I know the way. I know the way. Because that's the kitchen. And that's... Training room, got it. Okay. Has to be here then, right? Oh, this is spooky. Hold me. Hold me, Athos. If that was your name. Yikes! Are we ready to fight? I think we better be. We have some single target spells now that we can try out. Okay. Sir Magica is on. Battlehorn Castle Grotto. Athon. You're with me. Come on. There's no telling what we might meet down here. 
and what condition Lord Kane and Ariel Gerard might be. Stay close. Oh boy. <laughs> you smell of death. Been conjuring up dead things. Oh wow. I think we found him. Lord Kane, and that can only be Ariel over there. Let's get him. Let's get him, Athon. Oh no. Ariel's coming. Quickly. Kaboom! Kaboom! Smooch of Oblivion. The newest, the best, the hottest destruction spell. <gasps> Careful, Athon. Careful. She is powerful. She's become a lich. Yeah! She's down. She's down. She spread her legs. You know what to do with your sword now. Come on. Just bring her down. Oh, we need more restore magic. Smooch of a blit. Look at this. I can fight right next to a companion. This is great. Okay. I have weakened her. Now, the time has come to finish it right up the bum. There we go. Oh, the maid is here. No, no, no. You can't. Decrepit note, Lich Key. Is that a Varla stone? I'll take that. What is that staff? Staff of lightning. Oh. Okay. Let's 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 have a peek. Let's have a little peek here. Decrepit note. Ignorant fool. I could have delivered Lane Lin to him and more, but time is of no consequence to me any longer. While he is growing old, I will only be growing stronger, to await the day when I will return to claim my rightful place among the powers of this world. The darkness is not so bad. I come to like it. My companion is not very talkative, but that is just as well. I see now that my procedure was somewhat flawed. The flesh is not fully imbued with life as I intended, but his spirit remains strongly bound. He will provide me with an excellent test subject, as long as I am careful to do no permanent damage. Sometimes I awaken and do not know where I am or what I have been doing. How to tell the passage of time here? Why should it matter to me? I believe the change is coming over me quickly now. My lord Manny Marco would be pleased. Deep night darkness. Sometimes sleep under moon invisible. Howl sweetly, so sweet. My darkness. Silence. Hey, so... How can I be of service? Yeah, I'm gonna need a stiff drink. Certainly. I, I need I need some wine. Certainly. Thank you. That's good. Get out of here. A pleasure to serve you. You shouldn't be down here. You survived, Athon. Very good. I'm proud of ya. We solved the mysteries of the castle. Can't imagine you have anything to say. Yes, ma'am. No. Okay. Wait for me, and then I have yes, to tell him to follow me again. I guess. Okay. Easy. Let's check out this place. Another Varla stone. What is this? Is this a unique design? The Dragon Sword of Lainlin. Lord Kane. And Lord Kane's shield. Dragon Sword? Oh, fire damage and absorb fatigue. Look at that. That's actually hella dope. I heard you know how to move in light armor. Yeah, so they say. So they say, apparently. And we know how to kill bad guys. What's down here in the water? It's just a little grotto? Nothing, uh, nothing suspicious here? Let's just take a little check, because I know there's one more thing that I desire. But I don't know if that's the- Oh! <gasps> A very hard lock, a, a key held by a lich who had been down here stewing for years and years and years. Two gold! Two gold. I said two gold. Alright, I know there's a Nurn root in the castle, you see. I figured maybe it was down here. Alright, that's gonna be the last thing we need. We're gonna have to find the, the hidden Nurn roots. That was so cool, that's... I feel like the game should have had more quests like that. Where you can totally do this DLC without ever finding out if you don't find that secret room, find the journal and then follow the path, you know? It's... It's really cool, it's those neat optional things. It's something so different from... 
you know what Bethesda especially does in Skyrim, where you go to a city and the bloody orc approaches you. Hey, you, the Dawn Guards looking for able-bodied soldiers to fight a growing vampire menace. And you tell him to his face, I do not care, goodbye. There's a charge in the air. What happens then? It's added to your quest journal. Find out more about the Dawn Guard. I don't want to find out more about the Dawn Guard. I don't want to. I, I've said no, and yet you insist that I peruse the Dawn Guard DLC. And I've... <sighs> and, but this is the opposite of that. This is optional, slightly hidden, but still not super obscure, you know? I love that. I really do. Would the chef have the have the nern root here? Is the question. All right, let me let's go. Let's go sniff out some roots, shall we? Yeah. Wolfie, did you? That is so cool. When you buy the stuffed wolf, it comes with a free nern root plant. Yoink, two out of three Nern Root of the DLC collected. I, I I miss having a throne. I feel like a throne would be really cool, but... Guys and girls, we have officially done it. We have completed Battlehorn Castle. We bought the upgrades, we got the animals, we got the wine, we figured out the secrets of the unwanted tenants. Got the Nern root behind the wolf butt. And we have Castellan Aethon to follow us into battle. A brave, brave soul. Man, it's been a long episode, but it's been so fun. And just so exciting to see it all just come together. We have a new home now. Whatever shall we do with it? I am just not finding out how I want to look at the end of this. That looks pretty good to me. Actually, I lied. This is a much better shot. Guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the second episode of the Champion of DLC. Some of these episodes might be a bit longer because I do want to wrap up everything a DLC has to offer. Besides Knights of the Nine and Shivering Isles, because they're really big. But it's been fun. We have a new home, we've gotten some benefits. Up next, we'll have to decide what to do, but that's something I will leave for Future Dark to decide. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. Most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.